envelopes and a box to open. I have Molly um, from California sent me a card. We are opening these uh, things on Monday and tomorrow is Halloween. So, happy Halloween. She sent me a card. It says, wishing you all a little a little bit of magic and a whole lot of happiness. Dear Dunn family, hope you have a fun-filled Halloween filled with lots of laughter, friends, family, and yummy treats. Here's to a great time for you all. Sincerely, Molly. And I love it how it is actually, all that is actually printed on there. And then even her signature is uh, printed. So that's so nice. Thank you very much, Molly. And then I have a card from... Carla in Salem, Oregon. I have an envelope. I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I said that right. I have an envelope. Oh, she sent me some coupons. Kevin and Tammy, I've become a huge fan of your YouTube channel over the last few months. It's a lot of fun watching your reviews. And of course, I follow you on Facebook and Instagram. We've even met messaged back and forth a couple of times. While this isn't a new product, I wanted to send you both a little sweet treat. I don't know if you've ever tried these before, but they're low calorie and pretty yummy. You should be able to redeem them at Kroger, Target, or Walmart. I oh, hope you enjoy one. them. I'm personally a fan of the mint toffee crunch and peanut butter bars. Thank you for all that you do. You're a joy to watch. Carla. Uh, thank you very, very much. Oh, we've um, seen those. We have tried ball. them. Yes, oh, we we've tried them. It's been, a, it's been a while back. That's why. We have actually tried these. However, they have come out with some new flavors. I remember Sarah telling me months ago that they've come out with new flavors, and um, I have not looked for them in a while. So what I'll do is I'll look to see which ones we've tried and then I'll try to get new flavors with these. This is one free. So wow, you I Let's mean you get a free. whole box free. Wow, and she sent me three of those. Thank you very That's much. Cool. I yeah, I will definitely try to get um try to get something new so that we can review it because I know I remember that chocolate chip cookie dough. It was really good. Um I love the, the the pieces that are in it, you know? It gives you something to chew on. So, uh, yeah, definitely I'll be looking for those. I appreciate those. Now, this box looked like it came from Scarlet uh, because it's from Wisconsin. Scarlet is the one who started me off on Door County Coffee and Tea Company. She has sent us so many things. She sent us drinks, um, just all kinds of stuff the cherries uh door county cherries just another small small one cent no pre present present i was gonna just another small present it says present <laughs> uh scarlet well she it looked like two separate words and then i could i was having trouble the best relationships can't be explained it says so there is her card. What's that a cat look at? Oh, a, a mouse. Uh, a mouse. <laughs> okay, there's three things. Oh, yes, and she sent us a lot of jellies too. This has got peppers literally floating in it. Oh my gosh. This is Wood Orchard Market. All uh, three of these are Wood Orchard Market. Okay, yeah, we. she has sent us a lot of these. We've done reviews on them. There, She has sent us so many different varieties of uh, that we never even knew existed that are in Wisconsin. This is hot pepper jelly and they're in Egg Harbor, Wisconsin. And then, that, wow, cherry barbecue sauce. Cherry must be a thing there because they have a lot of cherries. They grow the cherries, yeah. yeah they're the like, are they like the cherry capital of the U.S.? Are they like, what? is Wisconsin like the biggest grower of cherries? I don't know. I'm assuming though because there are so many cherries that come out of Wisconsin. If they're not, let us know. Uh, cherry barbecue sauce. That sounds neat. And cherry vinaigrette dressing and marinade. So. You put it on chicken or. Yeah, or we salad. Can, you yeah you can put it on a salad yeah or chicken and I'm wondering uh, this would you put that on you could put that on chicken too couldn't you? 
that and barbecue. So yeah, well, we'll do a review. Yeah, we'll do. A lot of people have use hot pepper jelly for like recipes, like to make you. I mean, people may eat on toast too, but I've seen it in recipes as well. We've tried it on toast before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, well, thank you very much, Scarlett. I knew this was from you, and I saw Sturgeon Bay, and I recognize your handwriting too after all these years. So thank you very much, Molly. I appreciate the card, Carla. I, I love the coupons. Well, here's my pumpkin. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is trick or treat. And uh, so um, I thought today would be a good day to carve the pumpkin because once you carve them, they, uh, they start to rot, don't they? They, they rot oh, really nice quickly. Um, I know Andrew and Christina uh, carved theirs Thursday and theirs is already starting to look, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's starting to look like it's rotting. So, um, so you can see Ashley, I don't know if you can see that or not. Ashley drew uh, several pictures on here last yeah, night. she started to. But then she would erase it. And then she'd draw another one and erase it. And I swear it was so funny because she started drawing Oogie Boogie. And I came in here and I said, what are you doing now? She said, Oogie Boogie. And I said, oh, Andrew did Oogie Boogie. Yeah, she went, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> she and so she it. was <laughs> like, I can't believe that. So she didn't want to have the same pumpkin as, as they had. So I'll probably just draw some basic eyes and nose and mouth on him. And that'll be it. But I really like the seeds. So, yeah, that's you buy. so I like to uh, I like to snack on the seeds, and I have a video up of how I make my pumpkin seeds. So, if you're interested in that, I think they're delicious. Oh, here he is. The goops. There be the pumpkin goops. There's the smell. So, I'm gonna set my camera up and clean this out. You you'll carve, I'll carve out yeah a little so bit back. Happy Halloween! <laughs> oh, well, maybe you're supposed to go to the Retina Associates of Kentucky. Ah, I have a doctor's appointment today. So here we are. So we are at Walmart and they're starting to get their Christmas stuff out and they have the houses. They have gingerbread houses and chocolate uh, cookie train kit from Wilton and a mega gingerbread house. They have campers. Look at the dog house. Did you see the dog house, Kevin? They have Frozen and Minions, Paw like Patrol. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those before. 
North Pole Party Kit, Rice Krispy 3. That would be hard, I would think. Do you think that would be hard to mold those? They have uh, candy that's like cocoa and I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, peppermint like cocoa. So anyway, they're just, they're starting to get all their uh, like holiday decorating things out for Christmas. Giftables next to the dinosaur. And then you have the dinosaur. Because <laughs> <laughs> today is Halloween. Um, but look, these are for Christmas. Pencils that you can put in like uh, stockings or something. I'm sure all, oh, and here are some stockings. I'm sure um, all this will be on sale, I would think, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. oh Thanksgiving pennant. Those are neat. Thank it says thankful. And that's all that's left is Mickey and Minnie up there. It was sixty nine, now it's thirty nine fifty, so it is on sale. Well the reason I went to the doctor uh this morning was because I had to get my um foot my medicine gabapentin it's for my feet uh, it's for neuropathy it's where i i used to have i used to be a diabetic when i was overweight and i'm not anymore in case you're new to my channel so i had to go they have deemed this to be a controlled substance which means you have to go i had heard every three months well it turns out your doctor has a choice your doctor can make you go back every three months or every six months so my doctor has said you don't have to come back for six months so that's good for me because you know if I'm not sick why would I want to go you know I don't want to have to go to the doctor so I went to the went there everything was fine they got the prescription don't have to go back for six months and then we came to Walmart and I had ordered in last grocery haul I had ordered some of those Vortman wafer cookies um, I had bought some of those Vortman wafer cookies in last week's grocery haul well I saw online that they don't have every flavor but they do have Walmart does have strawberry and vanilla so I thought oh well I'll order online and get free shipping to store well it cost me seven dollars it was 350 her it was 350 for each package of cookies well kevin and i were just in walmart to go pick up my medicine and we had to do a little shopping those same cookies were like 268 each so here i had paid i paid a lot more so i grabbed the cookies i canceled the order which had already been shipped but oh well um I canceled the order and I will get a refund on that but I think that is amazing that they charged me 350 per a dollar more per package when I ordered it online so I think that's something that you all should be aware of if you're ordering online that you know be aware that it might be cheaper in the store Kevin and I didn't see them the first time we bought them or we would have bought them there to begin with we just we it's weird because some of them are in the cookie aisle and some of them are up by the freezer section which is where we got every other kind so anyway and that's my little Walmart story
our Halloween dinner, I made a pot of chili, and I bought some oyster crackers, so I'm probably going to put some of those in my chili. And then um, we have some uh, Colby cheese here, and I, we're using the bowl that Lila sent me, which is adorable. And it's a perfect size for it, one. Yeah, it's a perfect size for a block of cheese. Now, Kevin, his chili, he puts um, Frank's. Frank's Red Hot Sauce not in it. Yeah, not a lot, but... So we're eating early uh, so that uh, we can sit on the porch the entire two hours during trick or treat. So this, this is what we're gonna have for dinner.
So I have to add at this part of the video that you'll see Gavin was absolutely freezing. When he came up, when he came up the steps, I was telling him, do you want to go inside and warm up? Because he was absolutely freezing. So from now on, if it is going to be that cold on Halloween, we will not be giving out candy. We hardly, we didn't have near as many kids as we normally have. Now, in the neighborhood where Andrew lives, he said it was swamped. He said they got all kinds of kids, but we just didn't get very many this year. But we decided when we were sitting out there freezing, I was wearing gloves. Uh, we decided if it's this cold next year, we won't be giving out candy because it was like, it was like 49, 50 degrees, something like that. It was it was just too cold to be sitting outside. And Kevin does not want to let people come up the steps and ring the doorbell to get the candy because he said if someone were to trip on the steps, we could get sued, whatever. So he likes to sit out there on the steps so that people don't have to come up to us. Well, last night was trick or treat. And so we, Immediately, as soon as trick-or-treat is over, Kevin literally takes the Halloween banner off the front of the house. He takes it down because it's, we don't have that much outside, so it's just easier for him to grab the things out front and bring them in because he knows the next day I'm going to be putting everything up, and that's what I've done today. It just happens to fall. The day after is my cleaning day. So, I've been cleaning all day today and um, we, I put, I took all the Halloween stuff and I put it up in the attic and there is normally a table over here behind me and I'll show you. I moved it, Kevin and I talked about it. I moved it in the, um, here in the den and I put Gavin's Harry Potter house here, but now I have a Christmas house that I might put on um, this desk once we bring the stuff down. And you'll notice I've already got the stuff here because Kevin took down the fall wreath and he said, what do we normally replace that with? And I said, well, there's a red wreath. So when we went up in the attic taking the end of the fall stuff, I said, you know what, go ahead and take those two trees down as well. And that way, that part is finished and and we don't have to worry about it. But, I, so that's, that's almost all we brought down. Um, so over here, this part of the room, this chair gets moved because that's where we put our Christmas tree every year. And normally, that desk that I just showed you, normally we put it in here in the dining room over here. <laughs> but Ashley has this roll talk desk, which I mean, my goodness, could it get any more packed? Um, she has that roll top desk, so we couldn't put the, the table there. So we had to find a different place for it. I thought I heard, oh, Kevin's home. Kevin's home. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was, I was talking, no, it wasn't, because I was in the other room. Look, I put uh, Ralphie up here. I did have him on top of the refrigerator, and I liked him there. But I moved him here because you said that his, his beard, beard was you door. said his beard was getting stuck in the door. You think he's all right there? I don't know. So anyway, what I was saying is, I, since this was a good day to put all the Halloween stuff up and to like put the wreaths and stuff like that up because I'm cleaning the house at the same time. And the other thing that I brought down here was I switched out this, this cushion this is brand new. I just took it out of the package. I had ordered it from Pier 1 months and months, I think back in the summer, and I've never used it before. So, but I think it's perfect. The green and this pillow, which were not bought together at all, are the same. So, I did put up, I have a Halloween cake stand that I kept over there all season. I got it out and I put it over here just because it, it goes up under here and it's just as easy when I'm putting, you know, when you're putting up the Halloween, sometimes it's easier to get some Christmas out at the same time. So I got this out at the same time 
and I went upstairs to take some clothes up there and I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna waste this trip. I'm not gonna waste this trip upstairs. I'm gonna see what's in the attic, something that's small that I can grab and bring it down so that I don't waste this trip. So I chose this little elf. <laughs> Ashley bought me this elf a couple years ago. She bought it at Ruth Hunt Candy Company. We went in there, we did a store tour and we went in there and that's one of the things I saw and I said, I absolutely love that. I love that little elf, uh, the little University of Kentucky elf. I think that is awesome. Uh, and so she surprised me, she, she got it for me and I love it. So besides the cake pan and that, and Ralphie, of course, and the wreath and stuff. That's all the Christmas I've gotten out. I did lay out some the tablecloth for the dining room, but I haven't fooled with it yet. Um, our friend Debbie at Boonesboro Animal Clinic, she watches my vlogs, and hi Debbie, if you were watching this, um, she watches the vlogs and she heard me say that Guido was kind of having a rough time, that, you know, he's uh, because of his age, I thought, you know, getting up and down from the furniture and just getting up off the floor, like it seems to be painful for him. And I just thought that was part of aging I, because he's 13 years old and I didn't know there was actually anything they could do for that. And uh, so she commented and she told me about this pet assist canine full flex hip and joint formula. And it was $32, but she said that since he's so small, he only needs one of these a day because it comes with 60. So, fortunately, this will last for two months for $32 because that, gosh, that would get very expensive. Um, but I guess we've been fortunate that we haven't had to have buy any medication or anything. Really, he does get the ear infections and stuff, but... Um, a really fungal ear fungus <laughs> it's nasty anyway um this promotes joint function it's great tasting wafers restores mobility time release and grain free and um these are made in carson city nevada made in the usa i feel like i'm doing a review uh carson city nevada are there any are there any calories one wafer per day under 40 pounds, two wafers over 40 pounds, and it tells exactly what is in this. For use in dogs only. Yeah, please don't feed these to your baby. <laughs> um, so anyway, these are very, very hard, so this will be interesting to see how he does very interesting um so thank you uh debbie for telling us about those if you're watching because we're gonna try them out we're gonna see how it works we're gonna see if she had said um she had commented that what did she say used it with my dog and he acted like a puppy again so that would be so cool if Either it's gonna work and we're gonna see a huge difference or he won't change at all and you know, it'll be it'll be the same as it is right now. Either way, it can't hurt to try it, that's for sure. Um, He'll probably eat those more likely to eat those than, a, than taking a pill. Well, that's true <laughs> because he, um, he is, is not good at all with- He's sneaky. He eats the treat and spits the pill out. Yeah, he will totally spit the pill out. He's very smart. He's very smart when it comes to stuff like that. Um, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. So Guido is in his bed right now. He's sleeping. But this is what those Force Flex things look like. And it is hard. Very, like, it's like a disc hard. So we're going to see. Will you eat this? Huh? it for you oh yum can you eat it he's trying Kevin he put it in his mouth but it's hard here eat it
Oh, there it went. Poor Bill. Oh, he, Kevin, he's actually eating it. He is literally, I'm just thrilled. Look, yes, that was good. He actually ate that. I'm shocked. It must taste good. Good job. Good boy. Good boy, Guido. He said, like, where's more? I don't have any more, Pug. That was it for the day. $32, you get one a day. <laughs> Kevin and I binge watched um, Stranger Things. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you probably watched it all in a couple days. Kevin and I, I think we took three days. Only because Kevin, uh, one night we had watched three and he got to the point and he said, three's enough, we need to stop here. I think he was afraid of watching it too quickly. But for me, it's like, mm, you know, we're going to watch it. We're going to see it. So I'm not going to give anything away at all. But two words came to my mind when I was watching it, which, by the way, I loved it. So, I'm going to say these two words to you, and you're going to think, oh, she didn't like it. No, absolutely loved it. It was an awesome season. Uh, I thought, it, it's just a terrific show. I love the music. I love, I love how 80s it is. And it just amazes me that they can make it as 80s as they have made it. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, the synthesizers, and it's just awesome. But two words came to my mind while I was watching this season. Jurassic Park. Those are the two words. Jurassic Park. That's all I'm going to say. And if you've watched it, then you'll know. You'll be like, hmm, I get what she's saying. So anyway, uh, that does not give anything away. Uh, then I wanted to tell you all, too, that I finished Mad Men after watching it for a long time. Uh... I finished it, and it it was just a terrific show. It really is terrific. Everything about it, I really love. Um, and I won't give anything away about it because some of you have probably not started it yet, and I would like for you to, to watch it if you haven't. Uh, it's just it's a terrific show. Um, but I do want to say... Uh, there are people at, at the end that, okay, like Peggy, I, I will only stay on this for a minute because some of you haven't watched it. Peggy, I, I, I was, uh, pl pleased with what happened to her in the end. Uh, Pete Campbell, very pleased with what happened to him in the end. Um, Betty we won't discuss uh but i'm sure everybody has the feeling about betty but let me just say overall for the entire show let me just talk say this about betty as a person she wasn't a good mother as far as you know it's like watching watching one of these tv shows is like watching uh, little bits of a vlog you know you're seeing little bits of of what um of these people's lives, and I know it's TV, but whatever. She wasn't that great of a mother, okay? In general, beautiful, beautiful woman. Barbie doll, beautiful. And if you see January Jones, pictures of her, regular pictures, you might think, huh, I don't understand. If you watch Mad Men and see her, she is as beautiful as a Barbie doll in Mad Men. If, if, I don't know why she doesn't walk around looking like that all the time. Uh, because if I had her figure and every, I would just do it. Uh, but at the very end of the show, um, we just won't go into it. But it was what it was. Um, Joan, Joan really surprised me at the end. She had a choice. Uh, she had two paths. Uh, she had to choose one. And she did not choose the same one that I would have chosen. I'll just say that. I would have chosen the opposite. Um, really, is there anybody? Oh, Dawn. <laughs> yeah, we need to talk about Dawn. Um, I didn't like 
I didn't like how they ended it for Don. I didn't like where they ended it at all. At all. He's the only one. Everybody else, I thought they did a fine job. I thought it was stellar how they ended it for everybody. For, he, for the Don Draper character, I did not like how they ended it. But everybody else, I thought they did, I thought they did a good jo job on. Well, a few days ago, I was contacted from uh, by Justin's, and they offered to send us a free care package in the mail of uh, Justin's products. So I don't know what's in here. So I just cut the box open. I won't say. Okay, oh. it says get oh. co get cozy with Justin's. Uh, hi Tammy, we hope you enjoy these peanut butter cups. Enjoy. Justin's team. What was that? Oh, that was the recipe for that thing. Melt two cups. And... Yes, this is for a uh, warm chocolate almond milk uh, drink that you can have. What is this? It's like a tote. Oh, wow. That side's got Justin's on it. That's, That's nice. Yeah, we use these all the time. But on the other side. The other side is their product. Yeah, that thing's huge. That's very nice. Yeah, I like that because uh, Kevin uh, takes these to work often. He, he'll take things to work. So that's perfect. So that's cool. Oh, wow. Justin's dark peanut butter uh, cups. These are organic and milk chocolate peanut butter cups. And they they, stickers. There are 12 packages in here. And some stickers. Some stickers. That's awesome. Well, thank you very, very much to Justin's. Um, we have done uh, several reviews on Justin's. We've tried their peanut butter too. They have excellent peanut butter. Uh, they got these little pouches. Yes, they sell them. Um, I know they have them at Target in the mm -hmm. single serve. And uh, they have almond butter. And it, it's really, really good. So, yeah, there are 12 of these in here. So that's awesome. Well, thank you very much uh, for contacting me and sending me this. I love the bag too. Very, very cool. I hope this comes through on camera. Look how weird it, the color is outside. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's like, it's like it has an orange. Oh yeah, you can see it, see. Yeah, it's just, uh, I guess where the sun hasn't come up yet. See it through the window. Yeah, the sun's, uh, I guess, just coming up. So it, that's why it looks this color. It's just a very, very orangey color, I think. I guess that's a very fall color. You can see the color of the leaves over there on the tree. Some of you have asked about this thing in the oven. You see how uh, filthy it is? But I have uh, told you all about it, that it is absolutely wonderful. So I'm just gonna pull it out of here and try to film at the same time without getting crumbs all over the kitchen floor. So that's how the bottom of the oven stays pretty clean. I do see a piece of something. I'll oh, get yeah. So, but this is absolutely the most wonderful thing. We bought this. It comes, it comes in a a long box, and it's thin. So it's a long thin box, and it comes in a. Uh, it's rolled up, and what you do is you bring it home and you cut it to the size of your oven so uh, if you want it big, uh, smaller you know however small you want it you can get it that small and that was clearly better uh, but you just wipe this off now normally I would do this in the sink but since and also I would also go and dump the crumbs off in the garbage too um, so that I didn't get all the crumbs in the sink but I wanted to show you all how easy it is to clean off because I mean, it's fantastic. And I think, I think it was like $20. Even if it was $30, it was worth it because it, it will save the bottom of your oven. It really will. 
Uh, but anyway, normally I put it in the sink and I just run water over it. And then I just take it right back out and wipe off, uh, wipe off the front and back. Um, and just get it dry and put it right back in the oven like this. And you see? It's like new. So all those pizza drippings, it didn't matter. Well, it's the end of the week, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you all had a very, very happy Halloween. Uh, I, I know we did, although, like I said earlier, it was very cold. Um, and because our, on our side of the street, we were the only house giving out candy. So if you're on the other side of the street, it's almost not worth your while to risk your life because our street is very busy to risk your life to cross the street to get candy from from one house and because i remember taking andrew and ashley out and it's like honey it's not worth it we're not even going to go over there it's you know so next year i don't know if we'll we'll do it next year unless it's a really warm pleasant night i mean it just uh, because there's nobody else around us you know what though the house next door to us is for sale. Maybe somebody will be living in there next year. It might be a completely different situation than it was this year, but it was cold. So if it's as cold as it was this year, we definitely won't be doing it again because it was just too, it was too cold. So to end the vlog though this week, I kept track of all the Halloween movies we watched. We started watching movies, in Halloween movies, I think in September. And we didn't watch that many, honestly. But I would take a uh, picture of the TV uh, on the, the, the screen when it gave the title, the title screen. So I have those at the end of the uh, video for you this week, of the end of the vlog. So I hope you all enjoy that and it's just amazing to me that and not too long from now, it's going to be Thanksgiving and then Christmas. And I mean, I saw my first Christmas commercial last night and it was like, it's really that time. So we really need to get our act together. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you had a happy Halloween and I'll see you next week.